Good evening, good evening, family. Today is Monday, June 3rd, 2024. I'm back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. This would be my fourth for the day, but I don't know if I'm going to upload it today. So if I upload it tomorrow, just know that why the date is a day, is a day off. Now this is an email topic, right? And the young lady asked me this topic. Ooh, it's been a minute, but I didn't have the answer at the time, right? I wanted to get the right answer. So I had to think on it. And I wasn't thinking about this topic at all. I was, you know, I went on the other topic because I didn't have an answer at the time. I didn't have an answer that I wanted her to have that I thought would have been a sufficient answer. So I didn't get right on it, right? And the question was, what do I think the meaning of life is? Why are we here? Why do we do what we do? The working, the chasing the money, and what have everything that we do here. Why, why, just pretty much the purpose of life. Why do we do it? Why are we here? Whoever put it here, what, what were they thinking? Why are we here? What's the purpose of life, right? And I hadn't thought more about it because I'm like, let, let me think about that. So it had kind of like, in the process of me not having the answer right then, it kind of like went to the back of my mind. And I hadn't thought about it no more. And then, today, a depression spell hit me. A sadness came over me. And I'm, I'm just coming up out of it. That's why I'm able to make this video. And I'm on my way to the gym. But a sadness and a depression. You know, I, I battle depression from time to time. But not a clinical depression. Like, like, like chemical imbalance or nothing like that. It just my, Sometimes I think too much. I worry too much. I try to... Hold on. I'm, I'm going to get on to the topic. So today I had one of those episodes where I just got sad. I, I'll be all right. And then I'll just, all of a sudden, I'll, the sadness will come over me. And at the time, it, it don't have to be nothing going wrong. But what, and I identified what it is. And that made me double back to this topic. When I, was sitting there dealing with the episode and realizing why I was dealing with it, what made me feel that way, what made the sadness come on, that took me back to that topic. Because what made me sad was thinking about that same thing. Man, why the F are we here? Because I look at how I'm grinding, how I'm hustling, and I look at other people grinding and hustling. I see people suffering. As we see the people that are broke, struggling, check to check, barely making it. Family struggling, don't know how they're gonna pay their bills. Sick, diagnosed with all types of terminal illnesses. All of pain and suffering that's going on in the world. The crime the politicians, taxes, groceries, just, just everything we're dealing with as people. So I, I was thinking about, th th that thought came to my mind like, man, cause I was thinking about that, like why, why are we, why are we here? Why are we doing this? What are we doing, what is this for? What's the purpose of this? And me thinking that, that's when the sadness hit. That's when the sadness hit. When I start thinking about the plight of man, mankind, what we have to deal with. And they have to deal with all that. And then one day we die, whether we want to or not. So 
when I go to asking myself, why? When I go to asking myself, why? What are we here for? What is it all about? What's the meaning of life? An incredible sadness comes over me. So my answer to that question is, who gives a fuck while we're here? Don't give a fuck while we're here. That's bigger than me and that's bigger than you. The problem and the sadness come when we try to figure out something that we can't figure out. When we try to understand something we can't understand. Let me repeat that. Allergies. The sadness comes like fear. People fear what they don't understand. The sadness and the fear come because we don't understand the meaning of life, what we're here for, and why. The solution to that is don't even try to figure it out because you can't. Don't try to figure that out. Don't worry about why we're here. You're here now. Why we're here, who put us here, how long we're going to be here, what's the point, what's the purpose, none of that going to make you happy to know. That's beyond our pay grade. That's beyond our understanding. As the good books say, lean out to your own understanding. We can't understand that. Why all this is. So the key to peace, because that's what I'm always looking for, peace, is to not try to figure it out. Whenever I step into that arena, I get my ass whooped. Whenever I step into the arena of trying to figure out what's this all about, I get my ass whooped and I come out beat up and bruised. One day I'm going to learn to leave that alone. That's not my business. My suggestion to you, to myself, and anybody else that's out there trying to figure out the mysteries of the universe, why we're here, what's it all about, my suggestion to you is leave that alone. What we need to do, but we ain't got to do it though. What I'm going to do is go to work, pay my bills, have a little fun. Go to work, pay my bills, try to save a little money, get me a little coochie, have a little fun. Spend time with my family. You got family, hug them, tell them you love them. You got your kids. Tell them you love them. You got your parents, your mother, your father. If you don't, tell them you love them. If you ain't got them, cherish the memories you had when they was here. That's it. All of those other extraordinary, all the other stuff, we just humans. Our minds ain't capable of, of comprehending that. Anybody, I, now this is just me. And I'm a genius. I know everything. And that's something I don't know. What I do know, anybody that coming to you claiming to know the meaning of life and why we're here, they're trying to sell you something. Whether it be a pastor, whoever, nobody knows why we're here except the Creator. And I don't believe the Creator told nobody. That's why it's a mystery. They say He works in mysterious ways. It's the mystery to why we're here. Only He or she or it knows the answer to that. So, there's a reason, and I'm sure it's a good reason, why the Creator didn't feel it necessary to tell us that reason. So, I'm going to roll with that. Because whenever I don't roll with that, I find myself in a great depression, a sadness, because I can't figure it out. Because a lot of times I don't like it here. I don't like it here. I see what's going on just like y'all see what's going on. And it bothers me. And I ask myself, why? What's the meaning of life? Why are those people homeless? Those people are hungry. 
Why are those people born over there in Ethiopia with their stomachs this big or whatever? Nobody going to help them. The people in Haiti, the people in uh, Ukraine, the people here, Gaza, what have you. All this going on. Why, why, why? And then I get sad. Because I can't do a damn thing about it. So then, that's when you have to get some acceptance. Accept the fact. You have to accept the fact that you don't know and you never will. That you don't understand and you probably never will. And you probably don't wanna know for real. That's a good possibility too, that you probably don't wanna know the answer. So my suggestion to anyone that listen to this video that's watching this, focus on the little things, the things we can do, the things we know, deal with that. Deal with what you know. Don't worry about all the other stuff. That's God's stuff. Let God handle that. If you believe in God. If you don't believe in God, still let God handle that. Because whether you believe in him or not, it don't matter. He's still handling that. That's his business. I ain't trying to convince nobody to believe in God because that's his business. You not believing in him is his business, not mine. It's not my business to try to convince you to believe in God. That's God's business. He'll deal with you if you don't believe, not me. It ain't my business to deal with you. I won't understand church people trying to convert. And, that's between that person and God, not me. I got my own hill to climb, my own battle to fight, my own cross to bear. So to answer your question, what's the meaning of life? I don't know. Nobody knows, but the one who created life. So the best thing for you to do, in my, just my view, I can't tell you what's best for you, but what's best for me to keep me off that sadness and off that being, I go from sad to angry to pissed off and not wanting to be here. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I get tired of life just like the rest of y'all. It get on my nerves sometimes too. I'm tired of it sometimes. I ain't checking out. Don't get it twisted. But I get tired sometimes. And it's usually when I go to thinking too much, trying to figure out things that I'm not supposed to know. When I try to figure out what I ain't supposed to figure out, I ain't supposed to know that. So go fishing, go hunting, Hang out with your family. Pop five crackers on the 4th of July. Spend time with your family on Christmas, Thanksgiving. Go trick or treating on Halloween. Damn all that religious or pagan holiday crap. This ain't about no religion. It's just about living life. Enjoying life. That's the meaning of life. Enjoy it while you're here. As much as you possibly can. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. Keep it simple. Whenever I complicate it, I get sad. Keep it simple, I'm back at peace. The bills, the crime, the politicians, the economy, the price of gas, the price of tea in China. No, fuck all that. Keep it simple. I'm gonna go to the gym. Work out a little bit. Might have me a little cheat meal, go get me some fried fish and oysters. I ain't supposed to, but fuck it. Stop trying to figure out why we're here. Don't ask nobody else, don't ask me, don't ask nobody why we're here. If somebody got the answer for you, they lying to you. They getting ready to pick your pocket. How is it possible for a man who didn't create this to know why it's here? Why am I born in America and somebody else born over there in one of them third world countries? What make me so great? Why I get to live over here in the freedom and prosperity, get to eat what I want, when I want to eat, what alone I'm willing to work, but them people over there got some people born over there, ain't got shit. Why? I don't know. And I ain't trying to figure it out. Because every time I try to figure out 
those questions, I don't get no answers. All I get is sad and depressed until I let it go and say, fuck it, I don't need to know. Let me go to the gym. That's it. Keep it on a man's level. We are men and women. We're mankind, we're humans. Keep it on our level, not on a God level. People running around here tomorrow, we gods, we gods. What, what, if that's what you believe, that's fine. We are creation of God. God created us. A lot of people run around here talking about they gods and be broke as hell. If you God created you some goddamn money out of nowhere, out thin air like God created this. God created all this out of nothing. You do it then with some money. You broke. Struggling. But you're a God. Well, create some damn, pop your fingers and make some money up here. I want to see it if you're a God. We are creations of God. We are a creation. I don't care what you believe. You got a right to believe what you want to believe. I'm answering the email question. To the young, to the young lady that asked me, what's the meaning of life? Eat, drink, and be merry. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's in the good book, King Solomon, Ecclesiastes. The meaning of life, why we here, or what have you, Keep it simple, stupid. Eat, drink, be merry, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Our days here are numbered. Maybe on the other side, we'll figure out and, and know what it was all about. But until then, there's no way you can know now. There's no way. Don't burn your brain up trying to figure it out. Get out here, live, and enjoy as much of it as you possibly can don't just suffer all the damn time. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. I ain't saying I ain't gonna never go back to it and revisit it. I find myself overanalyzing and thinking too damn much. Want to figure, just want to know everything, how everything works. I've always been like that. How does this work? How does that work? Sometimes that can cause you problems and trouble. Needing to know everything. It ain't good to know everything. With more wisdom comes more sorrow. The more you know, the sadder you get. I found that out the hard way. Sometimes it's for your own benefit to not know some things. So, there's your answer. Just live your life. Enjoy it as much as possible. Enjoy your loved ones. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your time at the beach or what have you, and just live. We'll find out sooner or later what it's all about. Don't be in a hurry to figure it out. Don't be in a hurry to find out, because I don't think it's possible that we're going to find out on this side. Now, you people of faith, and what the Bible say, and this Quran say, and this, that y'all believe what y'all want to believe too, I love y'all too. I still say, don't none of us know, until we get to the upper room, or what have you, whatever's on the other side of this, that's when we'll know. If then, I can't say we'll know then because I don't know what happened when we get over there. So I don't know. And I ain't gonna worry about it. I ain't trying to figure it out. I'm gonna go in the gym and get my swole on. And go home and go to bed if the Lord will. Get it, got it, good, bye.